Hello everyone, it's a very short video this week. It's a little bit of 48 footage as well as one of the engine teams practicing. Uh, keep in mind while you're viewing this, the power is still off in the building, uh, so the only lighting is security lighting, and there's no AC at all, and it's July in Virginia. Thanks for tuning in. Unfortunately, this is how our exhaust system was delivered. Let's open it up and make sure nothing's missing or damaged. It's clear that it had ripped open and a lot of pieces have fallen out and it's just stuffed back in. Hopefully nothing's missing. We're going to get everything laid out in order and see uh, if we're missing anything. Our dual exhaust system requires different headers than the ones we had already installed, so we're removing our tri-power intake and taking off the old headers and putting on our new ones. Now our new Williams headers can be installed. Now the intake can go back on. Now it's time to put on our new fuel line. Like most one-piece lines, they're folded for easier shipping, uh, so we have to straighten the line out before we can install it. We'll begin by getting the line loosely fit into the fuel pump. Next we begin gently tweaking the fuel line to get it to fit into the frame brackets. There you go, you get an idea. Here Alejandro is using his hand as a fulcrum to protect the frame while he's bending the line. Now we're finally getting the rear two brake lines installed. Next time on Bulldog Builds, hopefully we'll have more 48 work to share with you as well as some other work in the shop, uh, depending on if the electricity is back on. See you next week.